and you can have your girlfriend, you can have your wife and your mistress all in the same car. They can barely even hear each other. They're so far. Look at the height of this thing. I am about six foot two and the hood is almost as tall as my shoulders. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Adam and we are in beautiful Playa del Rey on a sunny day in California. Today we have the brand new 2021 Chevy Silverado 1500 Custom. This thing is 20 feet long. Look at that. And to put that into perspective, if you add seven more feet to it, it'll be as long as a London double-decker bus. This thing is a mammoth. And I'm having a workout just doing the detail shots going in and out from the driver's side to the passenger side. So let's get right in and let's drive this thing. You guys know by now I'm not a pickup truck person I don't have a lot of experience in pickup trucks uh, anything off-road related you guys saw my disastrous attempt at off-roading with the Wrangler a very capable car in a very incapable driver they don't mix so uh, driving this thing let me tell you when I first sat in it like I said 20 feet long and believe me it feels just as big width wise height wise I mean the only time I felt like I'm on top of the world more than this was probably the G-Wagon, but this is so close. I mean, I am the king of the road. The size of this car is ridiculous. I can't see the, any side where the hood ends. I look back and I see the end of the bed and it feels like, you remember being in a school bus? I sat all the way in the back and you just get nauseous looking at this thing turn and how long it was. That's what it looks like when I look in the rear view mirror. It reminds me of the high school days. So this is the 1500 Custom. Now the Custom is not that special of a trim. It's only one or two levels above the standard 1500, but it does compete with the Ford F-150 and the Dodge Ram 1500. This has the 4.3 V6, makes just under 300 horsepower, just over 300 torque. The numbers aren't that surprising, but it is gonna be the fastest of the bunch. This truck has 20 inch wheels, but when you look at the overall package, I mean, they look minuscule. They look like this car is on 15s, but to think you still get that much tire, that much clearance, and that much more body above a 20 inch rim is unbelievable. There's no hiding it. The interior is still really cheap looking. It's still the typical GM, you know, very bland, very rubberized and plastic everywhere. But, you know, it's a work truck. You don't want the best materials. If you're a heavier set, kind of bigger person, I see why a lot of these guys want pickup trucks. There is just so much room. And if your passenger is pretty heavy, shout out to all my thick girls. It, this is just the best kind of car to own. I've got two layers of glove compartments here. There is so much storage, I don't know what to do with it. I wish there were more USB plugs. I mean, I only see one outlet here up front. There may be more, but there's definitely not one in the back. I looked around. Um, that's something I think this car is lacking. The car is just so inviting and so roomy. It just wants more and more people to climb in, but there just aren't enough USB plugs. This may very well be the largest blank button I have ever seen in my life. And I know for sure that it is a blank button because the other trim levels of this car have more buttons down here. See how much power this thing has. Uh, it takes a while to pick up speed. Uh, the handling, you know, it's obviously it's not going to handle well, but it's probably it's not as bad as you would expect. I mean, I don't have too much experience with trucks, but you know, when I drove the Gladiator driving this, uh, a couple of other trucks I've driven that you'll see soon. The handling is really not as bad as you think. I don't know what it is about being in a truck of this size. It just, I, I feel aggressive. 
I feel I, I like I'm, I'm just asking for some road rage. I'm looking for it. Wait a minute. What? Say something. Say something. That guy's not gonna do anything. We just entered the highway here. Let's see what the V6 is like on the highway. Yeah, it still takes quite some time to kick in, but you know, it's got the power, it's plenty. This car is just, oh, I, I wanna fight somebody. You just feel unstoppable, like, what is that? I'm gonna crush it, screw it. If you're wondering why I keep getting red cars to review, that makes two of us. I don't know either, I don't pick them. Uh, this car is brand, brand new. The car has 99 miles on it. And this is just what was given to me. I don't have a choice in this. So let's talk about the very controversial thing in this. That would be the design. Okay, looking at it up front, I know if anyone were to say that this thing looks hideous, I, I get where they're coming from. If people say this thing looks aggressive, I get where they're coming from. And I probably lean towards that side. I like to make the point that pickup trucks have generally always looked pretty generic, right? They, you know, they focus on features and functionality rather than uh, having a cool looking truck. I like that GM took a bold step and said, you know what, let's just tear this thing up up front. It doesn't need to have the generic big headlights. Let's split them up. Let's add a giant grill. Uh, there are versions where the front is completely blacked out they have gone to a totally new level and i like that all the pickup trucks are doing that uh, ford is the only one that's a little bit left behind on this the dodge ram pickup truck has also gone this route where they just do these giant graphics up front and they're just really having fun and i love that okay although this car has a few fake vents I am going to say loud and clear, I am not going to take it anymore when a sports car, a supercar has fake vents. Look at the main vent below the headlight that combines the front fender and the front bumper. That giant vent is real. That's a real vent. I can't believe it. I was shocked when I saw it. You know, these giant pickup trucks used to be such a headache to drive. You never knew how much room you have when you're taking a tight turn. Uh, everything was just an issue. There are blind spots. The car was so big, it was hard to park. Maneuvering these was just a nightmare. Now, that is totally gone. I mean, the car, besides having all these sensors, it is such an easy car to drive. And, and I'll show you an example. Look, when you go into reverse, you get a camera angle that shows you a straight line down the middle. That is aligned with your tow hitch. So if you're trying to put on a trailer, you know exactly where to go, how to aim, and how far to go. You have a camera right there showing you. When you turn on the cargo lights in the rear, not only is there a light on top to illuminate the entire bed of the truck, there is a little light on the door handle for the cargo door that illuminates the tow hitch so that at nighttime you can put a trailer on this thing. You know, I often pull over when I record these videos, you know, if I see a nice view or just a spot where I can do a quick detail shot, I never like to block traffic or anything. Um, but with this car, something I noticed, nobody ever asks you to move. They always assume you're in the construction business or you're here to repair someone's house or something. So be prepared prepared for that stigma when you get the car but it is a perk it's nice and I've always said this I feel that big full-size pickup trucks like this one make for the best road trip cars the amount of legroom that the people behind me would have I mean I sat back there and I have the front seat pulled pretty much all the way back where I would be totally comfortable and believe me there is so much legroom you can put people on top of each other back there and with the third seat in the middle you can put six people comfortably in this car that's the key word comfortably you've had a lot of sedans that say they can seat five but you don't like to go anywhere more than 10 minutes with five people in the car the rear seats even you lift them up they have a little compartment inside the doors are massive all of them even the rears have compartments at the bottom look at the size of this porsche in front of me i mean I have the power to just crush him and he doesn't even know it, I'm right behind him. But I'm not gonna use that power because with great power comes great responsibility. 
And oddly enough, I'm meeting more and more of these young women in their 20s that their dream car is a giant full-size pickup truck. If it's the protective factor or what, it probably goes back to the same reason why they're attracted to like big, buff, muscular men. I laugh every time I need to grab something from the other side of the car and my bag is there, I can never reach it. There is so much space to every side of me. You can have your girlfriend, you can have your wife and your mistress all in the same car. They can barely even hear each other, they're so far. The Ford F-150, the Dodge Ram 1500, and the Silverado 1500, which is what we're in, we're in the custom package, but going to the base models, they all start at roughly the same price, just over $28,000. This is, as I said, the custom uh, trim level, which brings the price up somewhere around 35, 36,000. So under 40 grand, you're getting this truck. Would I recommend that you buy one? Uh, I would recommend not to buy the custom one. Uh, there just aren't that many features you get with this. It maybe it looks a little bit cooler. Uh, I would recommend buy the standard 1500 if you're going to use it for a work truck or almost any other need. I mean, I don't see a need to get a super luxurious truck. They are over $70,000 when you really package them properly. And I just don't see it. You're, you're now in pretty expensive luxurious SUV territory and I'm I can't make an argument at that point that you should pick something like this over one of those I mean the reason I'd get this car is so different than why you'd get this car I'd probably buy this honestly as a road trip car I mean if you have kids especially which I don't but if you have kids you can just throw them don't throw them back there but if you were to put your kids back there it's almost like they're in their own room. You can barely hear them. I'm so far away from the rear seat back there. I mean, it really is a workout getting back there. I could never own one now with my current situation because I live in the city in Los Angeles. I'm in a pretty condensed area. Parking this thing would be a nightmare. So it's still not in our vision uh, close term, but shoot for the stars you might land on the moon right so one day when we're a billionaire possibly a trillionaire uh, we will have a badass pickup truck and just like that we wrap up yet another video thank you so much for watching if you have not already subscribed please do so now below and hit the little bell icon so you're notified every time i post a new video and i will see you in the next car